Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today's episode, I want to show you one simple little setting that'll make it much easier for you to use external hard drives, especially if you have multiple users. So I get email from a lot of people that are using external hard drives to share things like say iPhoto libraries or music libraries, media, videos, all sorts of stuff between either multiple computers or multiple users on the same computer. And when you set up an external hard drive to be used in this way there's one little setting that you may not notice right off the bat that makes it much easier. So I have another hard drive on my Mac that's called Media Disk. And in it I st uh, store a bunch of different things like the iPhoto library, iTunes Media, uh, a bunch of different videos and different things that I don't want on the main internal drive. Actually on my Mac Pro they're both internal but say on an iMac or using a MacBook Pro you may have the second drive as your external drive. Now when you create a new folder that folder then will have the permission set so it is owned by the current user. So you can see here it is owned by MacMost which is the current user logged in. If I would log out of the MacMost user and log into the user that I use for my day to day work I would find out that I don't have permission to change files and put new files into this folder because it's owned by MacMost. Likewise if I disconnected this drive from this Mac attached to another Mac I wouldn't have permission to uh, change and add to this folder either because it's not owned by the user on that Mac. It's owned by the user on this Mac. Now fixing that on a folder by folder basis is pretty easy because here I can see by getting info on this folder that I can change it. So I have what staff and everyone and everyone's would be uh, any user. Uh, staff would just be admin users on this machine uh, would be able to do. And now it's set to read only. So say if I wanted to change everybody to read and write I can do that and it changes it for that folder. But that can be a pain especially if you're creating folders and uh, adding new folders and changing things all the time. So a better way to do it is if you select the drive itself in the finder here. So I've selected the drive. I'm going to get info like before. Command I by the way for get info or you can do file get info. That's how that's brought up. And you'll notice that there is a checkbox here called ignore ownership on this volume. Now in order to get to that you're going to have to unlock the permissions here. So you're going to have to enter permissions in. And once you do that you will then have the ability to check and uncheck uh, this here. And you can see I've got it checked because this media disk I want to be used by multiple users. So I have ignore ownership. That way any user can create a folder, can change anything uh, and the other users can see it and have permissions to get to it. Another thing people do all the time, it's not necessary, is to select the entire volume like this. Uh, change one of the properties uh, to uh, read and write say for everybody and then go down here and if I had unlocked it I would be able to apply to enclosed items. That would make everything read and write by everybody. But you don't need to do that if you simply use the ignore ownership on this volume option. Now you can only use ignore ownership on this volume if it's an external or secondary drive say in a Mac Pro it, so it's not your main drive with the system on it. Can't do it there. You also can't do it on a disk image as well. And depending upon how you've encrypted the disk and done different things to it you also may have that option turned off. But for a standard regular external drive that say you want to store uh, different files and music, photos, whatever on uh, you should be able to turn this on and make life a lot easier for you. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMos Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.